Tonight we're going to talk about an Oregon agency that impacts people all over this great state. It's supposed to bring a positive impact, but recently for far too many, it's been just the opposite. And it is our big story tonight. When you lose your job in Oregon, there's a safety net in most cases. It's found in the Employment Department. That's the state agency that, despite its name, also helps you with unemployment money. But recently, that safety net has been a nightmare for far too many people. They're not getting their checks, and when they try to call to find out what in the world's going on, they're stuck on hold for, I kid you not, as much as seven hours. That's a long time. We've heard from several of you who either went through that or are still going through that now, and I'm so sorry you are. So lawmakers fed up by the lack of action from the department recently hauled the leaders in and demanded answers. Senator Deb Patterson shared a story from someone who called her saying they'd tried to get a hold of the department hundreds of times. All but one of those calls, um, that person received a busy signal. The last call gave them an estimated wait time of seven hours and 18 minutes, so they put it on speakerphone. And when 15 minutes was left of their wait time, the call was disconnected. Oh, can you imagine? Whoa. The Employment Department's director is David Gerstenfeld. He told lawmakers that staffing levels are too low because, well, they've been underfunded by the feds and the funding that they did get during the pandemic, it has just ended. The department recently installed a new online system to process claims. It's called Francis Online. It costs about $100 million. They say it's an updated and more streamlined software than the system that they had before it, and they'll eventually help get people through the system faster. But the real problem, they say, is staffing. Between April of 2023 and February of 2024, which was right before we went live with our new unemployment technology, the percentage of people that we were able to get their first benefits within three weeks, that federal benchmark, went from about 92% to about 65%. So that predated the switch to the new technology and was because we had only one third as many employees to do the work. That's quite a crash in about 10 months. So in order to catch up the department, well, they had a good idea, they thought anyway. Let's just answer the phone less. I'm not kidding you. They're no longer taking calls at all on Monday or after four o'clock on every other day. That's how you get less, less calls coming in, I guess. You just don't answer them. Gerstenfeld says it gives his employees uninterrupted time to really focus on these claims. But lawmakers in the House had real trouble buying that. My concern <clears throat> is that you chose Monday to be closed when everybody's on their Sunday train to get their claim. I appreciate your comment about trying to catch up on everything, but for all the folks that can't get through the Francis system on Sunday, they're calling us now. So thanks for sharing. <laughs> but I think the reality is, is that your 17,000 phone calls that you get in a day, we're now getting some of those, which we put more pressure on your, your agency to try to help our constituents. So I, I am trying to understand why Monday was the right day to be closed. Yeah. Gerstenfeld stuck with his argument, though, saying the agency's data shows that they actually get more calls midweek than on Mondays. He's hoping that giving employees Mondays to solve problems will mean that fewer people need to call on Wednesdays and will help solve the overall problem. Representative Anna Scharf ripped their new system. And then I'm struggling with the inabilities of Francis to actually, we must have bought a mediocre software program because I can buy a Domino's pizza on my phone and I can watch them putting the toppings on it and know exactly when it's going to hit my door. So I, I can't figure out why Francis can't allow tech savvy applicants to log in and look and say, oh, they're putting pepperoni on my claim. It'll be here on Wednesday at three o'clock. Francis is a failure in, in, in that respect to me, which is a failure on the software company that provided it to you. Pretty devastating review there, eh? Gerstenfeld says people can send messages to the department on Francis online, but uh, that sending multiple messages on the same topic slows everything down. He said the same thing happens with multiple phone calls because the staff then have to go in and clear each one. But he says there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The legislature sent the department more money to hire more people. He believes those folks will be up and trained by and on the job by the end of the summer. 
Lawmakers expect to see some change by then. They told Gerstenfeld and his leaders to report back with an update in September. Meanwhile, you can reach out to us if you've had problems either with unemployment or paid leave in Oregon. Send an email to us, will you? Send us at thestory at kgw.com or leave a voicemail 503-226-5090.